Hey guys, this is Jeremy from How To Hockey with The Hockey Movement and in this video I'm showing you how you can make your very own stick handling ball at home. It's simple, it's super cheap and it works really well. I've been using it for a while. So first I want to share some of my favorite toys for stick handling because there are a lot of good products out there. So some of my favorites, uh, Green Biscuit, this is my favorite puck shaped stick handling toy. Uh, it doesn't roll up, works really well in all kinds of different situations. However, it costs you about $15, sometimes more. Next up is the Smart Hockey Stick Handling Ball. This one will cost you about $10 and it was sort of like the original on the market for stick handling. I don't mind this one, but at $10 each it can get pricey and I like to have like three or four, you know, a couple in my bag, a couple at home, uh, just in case I lose them and so I have, always have it handy. So my favorite ball is the wooden stick handling ball. Now these things you can, a bit harder to find, but they're usually about two to five dollars. So they're cheaper, you can buy a few of them. And if you're smart, you can actually get these really cheap at craft stores. They're called wooden balls and you can get them for like a dollar each if you can find them, but I found that they're pretty hard to get. Now if you have some extra cash lying around and you want to pick up some of those stick handling products that I was talking about, I'll toss the link down there in the video description. You can get them at hockeyshot.com. They got really good prices there. If you're frugal like me though, and you just want to make a bunch of your own stick handling balls for cheap, you need two things. Simple, golf ball and hockey tape. You're probably wondering what the hockey tape is for and I'll get to that later. First, the golf ball though. You can just use a golf ball. Uh, however, I find with the newer players, it can be challenging. The thing with the golf ball is it's really small, so it's kind of like you're overtraining. Because it's so tiny, you have to learn to manipulate it and stick handle with it. Then once you go for a puck, it's a bit bigger, so it actually seems a bit easier. Second thing about a golf ball is that it's really bouncy. So when you're stick handling with the golf ball, it's going all over the place. It's kind of crazy, and you have to be really fast with your hands. So I find for beginner hockey players, this can be really challenging. You might try it and then give up. So that's where the hockey tape comes in. All you have to do is start with a little bit of tape at the top and then just wrap it a couple times. Now the, the more you wrap it, the softer it's going to feel and the less it'll bounce. There's different ways that you can wrap the ball and each way will have a different effect. So I'll show you some of those different ways you can wrap the ball later in the video. All right, just finished taping the balls. You guys can have some fun with that one in the comment section. Uh, so we have four different skill levels. One is no tape at all. So just the golf ball is going to be really fast. And uh, number two, is just two strips of tape. So you can see there's some, still some golf ball exposed. It's gonna be fast, but a little bit slower and a little bit better grip on this one. Uh, then we have one full layer of tape, and that's gonna be a good one for grip and a little bit slower. And then for the true beginner, uh, or different, really soft feel to it, we have about three or four layers of tape. Now, if you wanna go one step further, you can just keep on going and going and try to not make it round. So it's gonna be a bit bouncy on you. It'll have like lumps and bumps on it when you stick handle, and that just gives you a new challenge. That's it for this video. Now stop watching me tape my balls and go and tape your own balls. And if you're looking for something to do with your balls once you have them taped, subscribe to this channel because we're gonna be doing all kinds of stick handling drills over the summer to help you guys improve your game. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.